go round two. This oh, oh big massive hey. right for Sanders. Hey. Oh, Brady is out. Hello, MMA fans of MMA Inside. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most, if not the most interesting matchups that is about to come. When the two giant welterweights, Muslim Salikov and Michael Pereira, will clash against each other in the upcoming battle. Before we begin and jump right into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest insights on the MMA world and to never miss any update. It will be exciting to see these welterweights to clash against each other. Pereira came up with the bout headline on his Instagram. Although starting off from a failed start, Salikov snatched five wins in the last four years, which is quite appreciable since the standard of UFC ain't so low. In fact, even an average fighter in the UFC can knock the lights off of anyone. Regarded as the king of kung fu, Salikov has knocked out Ricky Rainey and Nordin Tella, which showed the raw strength and the capabilities that the Degastani fighter seems to have. Loriano Staropoli, Eliza Zaleski, Dos Santos, and Francisco Trinaldo were the three fighters who were finished by decision, which earned him a second, third, and fourth round win. Salikov now has a stoppage rate of 78% as he won three straight fights. On the other hand, Pereira has won his last three since 2020 with a total one-sided wrecking of Zelim Imadiev, starting and stretching a win streak over Kalen Williams and Nico Price. The three-fight win streak soon came to an end when he missed the weight against Tristan Connolly and later fell short to him. While following that event, he was disqualified for a legal mean in his fight against Diego Sanchez. Legal mean to a grounded opponent disqualifies Pereira. The current young woman from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Diego. While he seemingly goes for those high-risk strikes, his knockout rate is a mere 38% of his wins even if his career began a decade ago. Fighting style. Muslim Salikov has a blend of various infamous yet seriously effective martial arts, which includes the likes of Sanda, Xiao Jiao, Cheng Kuang, and kickboxing. Carrera, on the other hand, possesses a unique fighting style, which is made by himself. It's a form of Brazilian stand-up style called capoeira. The artistic technique plays well with lucid fighters who fight based on their instincts which is the reason why we see him doing those risky high strikes. Records. Michael Pereira has an average yet experienced record of 26 wins to 11 losses, two of them being a no contest. On the other hand, Salikov attends a record of about 18 wins to two losses, while one of those losses came from his debut back in 2017. Salikov's trying to push on the elbow, trying to alleviate some of that pressure. It's across his chin at the moment, but he looks very uncomfortable. Oh! Alex Garcia with a He is stretching the win streak ring. Whoever clashes with him. Predictions. If based on records, Salikov is a definite favorite in this fight since he is looking to stretch his ring and would most likely add up one or more under his belt. Although being an underdog, you cannot overlook the abilities of Demolodont. If he comes up victorious in the event against Salkov, opinion win. If Pereira fails to defend himself, it will most likely be Salikov winning the fight in early rounds by a knockout or through unanimous decision. So that's enough from us today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel or Salikov will knock out your teeth. Tell us in the comment section below who do you think will come up as victorious in the fight, and I will see you in the next video.